I'm Andrew Austin, and this is the Freedom and Reason Podcast. As you wring out more efficiency in labor, as you make them work more productively and generate more surplus, as you increase that amount, uh, you let workers go. Uh, so you have, if you can, if you can find a machine that can do the work of 100 men, then you get rid of uh, 99 men, and you have the one man work the machine. Well, you can pay that man more money, uh, but he's also generating more value with his labor. Uh, in, in relating the price to value, then, then you can understand this comic, which is so. What you know, see, so here's the story. There's a there's a capitalist. It's the first panel, and he's barking commands at a person working a machine, and and the, the an observer. This is a, a standard feature of these kinds of political cartoons. Where you have a person who steps in, who doesn't understand what's going on, and asks the right questions, right, out of ignorance. Uh, he's the anthropologist, the explorer. And so he says, what did you tell that man just now? And he said, well, I told him to work faster. He says, well, how much do you pay him? He says, $25 a day. Where do you get the money to pay him? I sell products. Who makes the products? He does. How many products does he make in one day? And the capitalist answers, $100 worth. Then instead of you paying him, he's paying you $75 a day to tell him to work faster. The capitalist is like, huh? Like, like he's such a part of the machine, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even realize, you know, that he's the, 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 uh, the contradiction there. I mean, if you believe that, you know, people should get the full value of, of their labor, as John Locke did. But the machines belong to me, he answers, you know, after a pause or a startle. And, and how did you get the machines? Well, I sold products and bought them. And who made those products? Shut up, he might hear you. <laughs>